Camila Cabello with Young Thug together on that one, Havana, playing for you right here on 88.2 Sanyu FM. It is the hit selector, your number one request show. And I am Crystal. I'd like to welcome my guest right now, Edwin Etchering, right now on uh, Celeb Select. How are you today? Uh, not so good, but I'm great. Are you feeling better? I'm so sorry about your loss yesterday. Ah, it's okay. It was just a bad day at work. A bad day at work. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, guess yeah. where the whole country is watching, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your bad day at work is very different <laughs> from other people's bad days. Yeah, but I'm um, I'm used to that. You're used to that. I yeah, mean, because I played um, a top sporter. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah, win yeah. some, you lose some, right? Lose some. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So how are you doing? Uh, I'm great. It's <laughs> good to be back in Uganda. Uh huh. And I'm enjoying myself. Okay. Uh, I came with a friend. Okay. Uh, I coach him, and I I play in the same club as him. Mm -hmm. So he came to uh, compete too. As well. So it's really nice to be here, okay. and it's warm compared it's to. It's warm. I know. I yes, know. Yes, you yes. you're based. You live in the Netherlands. Um, now Is I it? now I live in Luxembourg, in Luxembourg. but my mm -hmm. Dutch parents mm -hmm. they live in the Netherlands. It's only uh, three hours drive. Okay, three hours drive. Oh, so you're close yeah. to home. Yeah. Well, like you said, thankful for the sun. You know, for yes. the last week around about last week we were complaining about the heat, yeah. but we need to remember their blessings out there. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. You need to remind us. Yeah, here it's really good because it's warm. But in Europe, you can get. When I left Netherlands, it was minus five. Okay. And my friends they in Russia, they went to play a competition in Russia. Mm -hmm. It was minus 20. Minus 20. Yeah, in Kazan. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Clearly you don't like the cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't think anyone does. Yeah, so yeah. Edwin, um, maybe you can just take us back. I mean, okay, before we get to, you know, your early story, how yeah. long have you been playing badminton professionally now? Professionally, let's say since 2014. Sorry, sorry since 2004. Oh. That's 14 years. 2004, yes. That's 14 years. Yes, because uh, I started at Zambia Youth Sharing. You know, Zambia Youth Sharing. Mm -hmm, that's where mm -hmm. I started my... That's where I started to learn badminton. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah, I, I was born in Zambia. Mm -hmm. uh, raised in Zambia. Okay. It's just next to Sharing. So I was just crossing the road to Sharing. So from the time you were little, you used to just cross over. Uh, yes, just cross over. But when I turned... Uh, like 10 years old, uh, mm. 12 years old, mm -hmm. I was in and out of Uganda. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. so yeah. um, where did you go to school then? Back then? Uh, I went to Rere Primary School. Mm -hmm. It's just across. Yes. And then after P3, I mm. went to Nakasero Primary School. Okay. And then after Nakasero Primary School, I went to Ilside Wunamwaya, the international school. Mm -hmm. So, yes, but I did not finish my high school here. Mm -hmm. I did my high school in, in, in Europe. Okay. Yes. So, who was the person who set you on the path of sports? Who uh, was that person? I think my grand my grandmother. Your grandmother. Yes. Okay. Yes. Did she play sports like in her day? No, no. Actually, I, ca I came in the sports family. Mm -hmm. uh, my uncle is called Godfrey, Godfrey Akabu. Mm -hmm. He's an, an Olympian. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had an, a cousin. He played for sports club Villa Express and and which other team? Yeah, those, and U U E B, I think, yes. Okay. Yeah, my cousin. So sports is in the family? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, All yes. All right. And how did you, I mean, you said you talked about leaving Uganda yeah. at the age of 10. Yes. Why was that? Uh, because of the um, financial problems. Mm. And I had to move out Okay. just to see. My grandmother, actually, she insisted that I had to go out. Okay. Yeah, because, she, okay, in Zambia we had staff, but sh she couldn't manage us to manage me herself. Okay, it was uh, very, very tough for yes, her. Yes, yes, I went to US and then I came back to Uganda. When you said us, how many were you? Uh, actually, mm, me, we are we are a lot. I grew up. I spent. I grew up with my grandmother a lot, mm. uh, and I have. I call them like my siblings. Yes. Because my. Mm, Mothers, sisters, kids, and yeah. your cousins, my and cousins, and yes, 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 yes we a lot, like twelve or thirteen. And you were all living with your grandmother back then. Uh, yeah. Wow. 
she's an amazing woman then. Yes, yes, yes. We are, okay, my, my grandmother, she was a landlady. Mm -hmm. uh, she had, we had like half an acre in mm -hmm. Zambia Central. So she had houses. We we're not so good, but we, she used to rent out the houses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you live in the ghetto, so the houses are not so good, but she, we had something. Mm. Yeah. It sounds like tough times. I'll say good times. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, yes. You focus on the positives. I focus on positives. But the yes. thing about, you know, tough times is they also kind of shape you later yeah. on in life and they make you more determined and more appreciative, more grateful. Yeah, I think it's, but we have to focus on good things because she raised me right. Mm. She raised me with, uh, I, have to I have to be polite to everybody, mm. to anybody, even though you... The journey yeah, I met anything. you downstairs and yeah. you were very polite with the security guard yeah, waiting yeah. your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to be polite. None of that. Do yeah. you know who I am? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and my Dutch parents too, mm -hmm. because I was uh, adopted. Okay. So, so at the age of 10, you were adopted? No, actually. Was uh, that later? When I, when I went to the uh, Netherlands. So, mm. so when I went to uh, Germany, I met them in Germany. So maybe you can just take us back to what happened at the age of 10 then. Uh, at the age of 10... Uh, I was still in school in mm -hmm. in Zambia. Okay. So I was still playing badminton in in and out. My first trip, actually, my first trip is the one did everything. My first trip was it was in two th 1997. Okay. Uh, when I went to uh, South Africa, Botswana, to play uh, Africa Badminton Youth Championship, mm -hmm. and then everything turned from there. From that point. From on. that point of view, and then. Uh, from there, I, I I was in and out, in and out, in and out. But my grandmother, she used to push me out. You go, go do your thing. Mm. Actually, she didn't want me to study a lot. That was a bad thing. But <laughs> she is uh, you go, do your thing, do your she thing. She probably recognized that there was something real, uh, the yeah, real talent there. And I was, I was not so good in school. Okay. Me, myself. Were you not interested? or I was in not so much interested. But mm. when it comes to do my stuff in school, I was doing it. But time to go for school. Uh, I was like, yeah, I'll do it later. <laughs> yes. And then from there, I went to, in 2010, I think, I went to South Africa mm -hmm. to play uh, World Youth uh, Championship. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I got a scholarship mm -hmm. to go to France mm -hmm. uh, to play, it was a tournament called Reunion Island Tournament. And then from there, everything changed. So I was wow. like, and then I came back like two years in Uganda after my two years and then I went to Ilside. Okay. So I studied at Ilside, but I did not finish up my high school. Ah, okay. Now Il I understand. Okay, okay. So I did not finish up my high school at mm -hmm. Ilside. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I went to direct. I did a lot of things in uh, on internet, my study, mm -hmm. because I, I wanted to finish my high school. Okay. So I did. In when, I, when I went to Germany, I was in an uh, international training center, that's mm. Olympic training center. Yes. So I did everything vi via internet because it was a sports school. Mm -hmm. So you could, we could play sport, 70% uh, of sports, and 30% uh, of, uh, mm. of school. A regular school. Yeah. Okay. Did you play any other sport when you were younger? Yes, 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 yes. Before yes. you finally said badminton. I was good in football. Football, huh? Yes, I, w I, w I mean, I was in the when we were young, I was in the same team with Onyango Dennis. Oh, when you went for your first tournament outside yeah. Uganda. Yeah. First time to compete. Yeah. Did it dawn on you then? Was it clear then that, oh my goodness, this is going to be the rest of my life, what I'm going to focus on? Or was it just just for fun? Uh, the beginning was just something. Mm -hmm. I had a chance to go. But mm -hmm. actually, my grandmother, she paid for everything to go there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, w she could arrange. I don't say that she was rich, but she could try. She would do her best. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, she tried her best and I, I could get the money. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I went to to Botswana to play this tournament. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I, I had to figure out what I want to do. Okay. I was really good in football because so I, was, I was really in the, I was in the youth, youth team mm -hmm. in Uganda. And so I was really good, but I had to figure out what I want. So because you had to I make a choice. Yeah. Hmm. And I was good in squash too. And okay. table tennis. <laughs> so <laughs> I knew that was coming. That was coming. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That there were so many different sports. So yeah, because when you live in Zambia, sharing, mm -hmm. every sport is there. Every sport is there. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to take a short break right now. Maybe you yeah. can give me your first song, which is Bread and Butter. Yes, I like that song. My radio and weasel. This is a good song. <laughs> So 
So um, you talked about you know having to make a choice at a yeah. pretty young age. Yeah. You played yeah. squash. You played yeah. table tennis. Yeah. You were a good footballer. Yeah. Badminton. Yeah. And then you had to decide on badminton and really pursue that. Actually, my grandmother she the one who made this. Your choice. grandmother made that decision yes, for yes, you. Yes, yes, because I was all the time when I was going. I used to like football a lot, but every time I was going home mm-hmm. because I'm a skinny guy, mm-hmm. uh, I had. Uh, muscle ache or injuries and everything so from football from football oh yeah yeah, yeah. So and, uh, and then I, did, I decided to pick badminton okay yeah so now she told me to uh, make a choice all right so uh, i decided to choose badminton okay so yeah. the nickname the black pearl yeah how did that come up? it's such a cool nickname <laughs> <I have to say. laughs> the, the black <laughs> pearl um my <laughs> first club i played in the netherlands mm-hmm. uh, because i was playing in luxembourg mm-hmm. and then i was I got a new contract with a club called Fellow mm-hmm. in the Netherlands. It's from Den Haag. Have you been to the Netherlands? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, no. it's uh, the club in Den Haag. Mm-hmm. So they, they came to uh, well, my first Olympics in 2008. Mm-hmm. They came to watch me there. Okay. Uh, and then they said, no, this guy, is, he needs this name. <laughs> so they, they made T-shirts, <laughs> made everything, <laughs> Brad Farrow. Yeah, I don't know. They just made it. So for me, I didn't. No, it's yeah. such a cool nickname. The All Black right. Pearl. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank Super you. cool. But I prefer to call me Eki. Eki. Because at home, they always call me Eki. Okay. So that's it's like it's your so childhood nickname. In no much. Even your friends now? No, no, no. In, in Netherlands, most of the people, they call me Eki. Eki. At home, yes. Okay. But my child name, like uh, a joke name, uh-huh. and in Zambia, which they used to call me mm-hmm. Ochomo. Ochomo. Yeah. What does that mean? But it's a name from, from the eastern part, from mm-hmm. Teso. Mm-hmm. I'm from the eastern part. So yes. So yeah. they, I don't know. It was just... It was just the name like they gave you. Like kids, you make jokes so again. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we'll go with Eki. Eki <laughs> Clearly. Eki. I like yes, that. Yes, Eki. Yes. Yeah. So you, you talked about, you know, being in, uh, in school and then much as you were focusing on badminton, yeah. you had to finish high school as well. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Was that a challenge for you? Because you mentioned yeah, earlier on that. you have to. You had to. I had to because it's, uh, it's really One important. One of the requirements. Yes, yeah, really important. You cannot have any contract in Europe without finishing your high school. Mm. Okay. You don't cannot. Mm-hmm. That's that means you have to be eighteen. Eh? Mm-hmm. So eighteen, you require to have an uh, uh, a diploma. Let's say this, they call it a, di- uh, a diploma, mm-hmm. high school diploma. Yes, yes, yes a high school diploma. Yeah. Okay. So as someone you know who started traveling really young, mm-hmm. uh, clearly you're coming from a community kind of home with all mm. the children, all the sports. Mm. In Uganda, you know, a lot of schools have been criticized because sports programs yeah. are almost non-existent or simply don't have enough attention. Yet for you, it has mm. taken you so many places. Um, Do you think it's something that's it depends, really missing? Yeah, I, I think it depends from... It c- it's supposed to come out from the National Council of Sports yes. and the National... Uh, sp- how are they called? National... Uh, sp- uh, education, mm-hmm. education, yes. education, s- yes. sports. Mm-hmm. The Ministry of Education. Ministry of Education. Yes, they have to make a, a, a policy what they want in sports. It's because it's, it's all about the policy. Mm. Because in in Netherlands, like when I went to the university mm-hmm. in the Netherlands, I had uh, they call it top sport status. Okay. So top sport status it means if you're doing, let's say, I was studying physiotherapy. Mm. So you can do... Physiotherapy? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. yeah. So you can do... I, s- I, ca- I did my... Uh, you can do your uh, diploma. They call it degree. So in, all in Holland, they call it diploma. Mm-hmm. You can do it... Let's say it takes four years, but you can do it in eight years because they know you're a top sporter. Okay. So they give you that priority mm-hmm. to do things on your pace because they know you have to represent your country. Mm-hmm. So I had that. Okay. But here in, uh, in Uganda... They don't have that. They I think that's the that. problem. It's it's supposed to come from from the government to uh, make a policy what they want. From yes, sport. but sadly, it's not in place and it's not being. Um, there's so many schools, so many children who are missing out, even probably on hidden talents that they might have. Mm-hmm. Um, because the one of the things I've heard a lot from people like you, sports uh, personalities, mm. sportsmen and women, yeah. is that there's a certain kind of discipline. In sports, yes. Yes, in but sports you have to if, but if it comes in every other part of your life. But if you want to study, you have to have discipline both ways, mm-hmm. not discipline in one. Mm-hmm. Uh, discipline both ways. You have to do... Okay, for example, now I'm coaching some little kids in uh, Luxembourg. Yes. So I was asking them, uh, I asked them, why are you not coming on time? They say, oh, we have to do homework like this, we have to do almost this. And they say, okay, I need to talk to your uh, director of school. 
So I went to talk to the director of school, and the director of school, no, 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 no. But they just didn't want to practice. I think it's supposed to come from uh, the, um, the, the government and the associations. Mm. So if the association can talk to the sports directors, so the directors of school, this is what we want you. Uh, this is what we want you to do for us. Mm -hmm. And the directors of school, they can. You know, it's you have, you have to come in uh, to come in uh, common ground, common common grounds. Yes. Yeah, in common grounds, so mm -hmm. that you can figure out what you have to do. Okay. Because it's all it's all about uh, discussing things. You mm -hmm. cannot say we want you to do this. We want you to do this. You have to discuss things, and okay, then when you discuss things, actually and then you make it better. You have to balance. Okay. So okay. it's so it's the same like discipline. Even the kids have to have discipline of both mm. study and school, hand in hand. Hand in hand. Yes. Okay. Hand yeah. in hand. Yeah. So you studied physiotherapy. Yes, but I did not. Uh, and you've never practiced it. I di I did it a little bit, but I did not. Uh, I was not uh, graduated. Okay. Because I w I was I was in car accident in two thousand nine. Yes, I, I heard about that. What happened? Uh, I was from school, actually. No, actually, I went to school, badminton. How training. old were you at the time? I was just twenty three, twenty four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in two thousand nine. So, yes. uh, so this is was horrible. Yes. Uh, because after I, w I was hit by a car, and the car was uh, seventy seventy kilometers per hour. Where she was, were you crossing the road? Yes, with a bike, you know, in Holland, everything is mm, bike, yeah, everyone rides bikes, yeah, yeah. biking, and uh, yeah, it was really hard. And then I had uh, bruises in on my rib in inside, inside my body, mm -hmm. and cracks on the ribs. Mm. I had a ligament ruptured, a broken uh, ankle, like my foot was broken, and I've had a uh, shin fracture, I couldn't walk for almost uh, four months. That must have been so scary. Yes, and then uh, because my mom, sh my Dutch mom, she was like, we want to know what's the what's problem. And then we went, first opinion was like, yeah, Edwin, it will be better. But my mom, she was insisting, can Edwin play badminton again? Mm. And then it was really bad news. Uh, they told you that would be the end? I cannot play badminton again. Uh, and maybe it will be a miracle. So I was really depressed. I was like, oh, man. So yeah. I went like, <laughs> but my mom she was really good she talked to me and uh, she was talking to me all the time and I had a uh, good uh, good supporting uh, yeah, support network support around network you support around me and my club were really nice mm -hmm. they said no just take your time you'll come back even the school they were really nice to me they said yeah it's okay you can do your studies later just first get, get here better. Or get better get better but I, sh I that just that must have been terrifying yes. Because, I mean, I'm sure in your mind you had all these plans, so much you wanted because to that do. That was uh, in 2009, uh, December 16th. I'll never forget that. Uh -huh. December 16th. Mm -hmm. So I, had, I, was I was preparing tr uh, training for the 2012 Olympics. And then this comes. That happened. Yeah, it was really bad. Uh, and then I'd, I couldn't play for one year. One year and a half, almost. One year, one year and a half, no badminton. But you were back on your feet in nine months, is it? Yes. Ha! Huh. That's that's pretty quick recovery. Was it intense physiotherapy? Yeah, uh, because the first, first, I'll say, I'll say, first, I'll say one year. Mm-hmm. One year, I'll say one year, nine months, but I'll say one year. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, one year or one, one, one year something, because I couldn't, uh, first I did the three months, no walking, nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, just laying on the bed, doing nothing. Mm -hmm. And then there's the other two months, try to walk because the ribs uh, heal faster. Faster. Mm -hmm. So walk with the crushes, mm -hmm. no weight on my... On your legs. On mm -hmm. my legs. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next three months, uh, just trying to work, I work with physio. Mm -hmm. Working with physio, working with physio. Until you managed to get back on your feet. Yes. And then I tried to play. The f my first tournament was Commonwealth Games. Mm. So I was, yeah. Wow. I was okay. <laughs> then you were okay. I like that. Yeah. I was well, okay. we'll get back to that in a yeah. bit. Right okay. now, we're going to your next request, which yeah. is Marcus Houston, Only You. Yes. I like that song because it's, uh, I don't know, I like Marvin Gaye and this was a remake. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice song. Okay. And I like my Marcus Houston. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here it is. Only You. I know I lost your trust, baby 
The Sanyu Hit Selector. It is indeed the Hit Selector on 88.2 Sanyu FM. I'm Crystal, and here with me on Celeb Select today, I have Edwin Ekiring. And he's talking about uh, his badminton career. <laughs> now, you were talking about a really scary time for you. Yeah. When a car accident, yeah. you were hit by a, a speeding car, really. Yes, yes. And yes. it took you a year and a half to be able to play let's badminton see, again. See enough, yes. And then you also talked about the fact that you lost a friend of yours who yeah. was really depressed and committed suicide. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, those were dark days. Yes, But yes. you managed to rise out of it. Yeah. And yeah. your mom, you said your Dutch mom, yes, was yes, very yes. supportive. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, All right. Yes. Now we were talking about depression. Yeah. We kind of went off <laughs> <laughs> just to let you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, when the mics were off, we started talking about depression, and you were saying how in Netherlands, for a lot of people, a coping mechanism yeah. is yeah. being able to smoke a bit of marijuana. Yeah, I'll smoke a bit of marijuana. But yeah. it's legal there. Yes, yes, people do it. Yes, it's not a drug. Mm -hmm. Don't call. Don't say that's a drug. And that's the thing, because no, 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 no. The dr a drug well, you have to in, mix in countries where it's illegal. People no. do believe it's a drug. It's a uh, medical marijuana. They mm -hmm. call it medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. Because a drug, you have to mix a lot of things, you know, bacon soda and everything. But uh, with marijuana, it's just you have to... S when you set it on fire, it has some effect. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> it's not a drug. <laughs> <laughs> and you tried it once? Not once. I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't want to lie. When I lie, it's, it's very bad to lie. I'll be honest. Good not to once. be honest, yes. Yeah, it's not once. Mm -hmm. A bunch of time. Yeah, okay, but that's, you know... Yes, Again, yes. it is legal. Yes. It is legal there. Yes, yes. So when you were able to get back to playing badminton, yeah, were you scared that you wouldn't be able to get as good, you know, get back to the level you were before? Or did you just know that you were going to get back up there to the top? No, it was not easy. Mentally. Mm -hmm. Mentally. Because everything's mentally. I was not, it's not, it, it was not easy mentally. Mm. Uh, because I had to, work, I had to work harder, harder and harder. Mentally was really... But mentally. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But my physio, she was really supportive too. The physio. Mm -hmm. I had two, two physios. Mm -hmm. Really supportive. Two physios. But ment uh, every time you get injury, mentally is a problem. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the body can heal. Yeah, but mentally. Mm -hmm. So you think, can I do this again? Can I come back to this level? You have a lot of, uh, let's call it sounds, eh? <laughs> here and here coming mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, can I do it again? Can I do this again? So, is it like like doubts? And yeah, doubts. And negative thoughts. Ne yes, yes, yes. Doubts. Mm -hmm. But you have to be strong eh? mm. to overcome this kind of accident I had. Yeah, I was was really. I think I'm. I had a guiding. I had a guiding angel to do that and to uh, to play badminton again and to qualify for Olympics 2012 mm -hmm. because for me that's my best. Uh, I'll say best eyelet okay. for the 2012 Olympics mm -hmm. because I had only one year to qualify. Only one year. So you put everything into it. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All yes. right. Yeah. So playing for the national team. Yes. Um, you know, you were the first Ugandan, I yeah. believe, to represent, uh, to play at the Olympics as a badminton player. Mm -hmm. So that's a milestone already. Yeah. And uh, do you feel like you, you've had enough support? Because... That's one thing we see a lot with a lot of sports personalities. Um, we again and again the debate goes that as a country mm. we do not support our sports personalities enough. Do you feel that you've gotten all the help you needed, or was there ever a time when you felt let down? Yes, Land, uh, Rio, mm -hmm. Beijing. Uh, sorry, uh, no, I don't say Beijing. Uh, 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 Brazil, oh. London. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Brazil, uh, Rio. Yes. I couldn't qualify because. National Olympic Committee or National Council of Sport, they failed to give me money. Yeah, they said they didn't have money, so uh, I failed to qualify. That was the first. I was really... Because mad. there are a number of different matches that you have to play all over the place, uh, right? To they be able They don't to have money. They don't, they don't support me. Uh, so my what do you mean? You, you no, no, my Dutch family do support and myself and the clubs. They don't. Even the, tic the ticket which brought me here, I paid for myself. Wow. Yeah, I don't get any support. Maybe my federation gets. Uh, I I don't know. I'll give. I'll put it in benefit of doubt. Okay. I don't know. Maybe my federation gets. If my federation gets something, they do give me something. Something, but that's not enough. Wow. Because that's if I have to play tournaments, my budget is around thirty thousand euros. 
yes. the budget. And what? that's 30,000 euros, yes. Okay. That's my budget mm -hmm. for the whole year. Okay. 30,000 euros just to play tournaments around the world. Mm. But I and you have to, you come up with that money yourself, your family. My family, my sponsors, because I had uh, extreme uh, sponsors like a racket company, mm -hmm. so materials. I, I, I had uh, 10,000 euros mm -hmm. per year by mate of only materials. Yeah, I was good, so I could get rackets, closing, mm -hmm. and some bonus money if I win the if I win some tournaments. And because uh, some people, you know, also the attitude for I think for some people is like, but if you win a game, don't you get money? Don't you? Yeah, but, aren't but you, don't you get some money out of it? But look, but mean you you win. Okay, uh, you win a tournament. Mm -hmm. Let's say Uganda. Okay. You get uh, one thousand two hundred uh, US dollars. Okay. That's for me. I think it's not enough. Because that, that's like an air ticket. Yeah, that's an air ticket. Uh, but if you win uh, a Grand Prix gold, mm -hmm. that's 7,000. Okay. Uh, it depends the levels because Uganda is lower. Okay. But it's the biggest in the African continent, but the level is slow. That must have been quite a challenge for you because you, you, you love the game. Mm -hmm. You are playing for Uganda. You yes, yes, yes. Representing yes. this country, yeah. but you're not getting enough support to be able to. Yeah. I know. I know, but I don't know. I, sometimes I don't want to complain a lot. <laughs> when you complain, you complain, you complain. It just holds changed. you back, right? Yeah, it just holds you back. And we need to go forward. Mm. All the time, these people, they don't understand the sport. What mm. what takes to be a top sporter? Okay. Nobody understands what it takes to be a top sporter. Let's say in uh, National Council Sport or National Olympic Committee. I don't know about National Committee, but <laughs> nobody knows mm. what it takes to be a, to a top sporter. I, I train my program mm. a day. It's five hours a day, just training. You train five hours a day? F sorry, five hours a day? Yes, five hours a day. Yes. Wow. So two, uh, two and a half hours in the morning, two and a half hours in the, in the, in the afternoon. That's serious dedication. Yes. So I think you're right. People do not understand <laughs> what People, goes they don't into know what it. What you have to put into sport. Okay. And after sport, because you have injuries, you have to, uh, uh, you, you need to have a, uh, um healthy let's say the medical medical insurance uh, medical insurance and all uh, everything like you need to go to massage you need to go to physio uh a lot of things a lot of things hmm. okay. lots of things all lots right. of things yes. okay and you recently announced that basically i stop <coughs> you will no longer be a part of uganda a team. part of the uganda national team yes okay yes. Uh, and your reason for that is there's some reasons the lack of support the lack of support and I think I'm older I'm going to be 33 now so 34 now mm -hmm. it's time to do so something so you feel you've done your time yeah I, I think I had the best career I, I my career mm -hmm. I think I had the best career okay uh, to be the African number one the longest African number one to play two Olympics mm -hmm. to win three and three in all Africa games uh, to win all the continental championship Mm -hmm. like the continental tournament mm -hmm. except uganda i've never won uganda <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. to be the first african to sign a contract with uh, a club in uh, europe i think it's a good career no, I, I, like I, I won't regret I'm, I'm not regretting I like that that's yeah. an attitude of gratitude right there yes, yes, an yes, attitude yes. of gratitude okay yeah. so I'm going to ask you now for your next song uh, Tupac this one is powerful mm, dear, dear mama. mama yes I lost my mom when I was really young mm. uh, I lost my mom maybe at age of 10 mm. and I was raised by my grandmother mm -hmm. so yeah but I lost my grandmother too in 2000 so this song resonates with yeah, you yeah and my father was not there I never knew my father I knew Have him. You, did you get to know him? I later? know him. You know him now. I know him, but we don't have good uh, uh, contacts. Uh, a relationship. Relationship. I'll say relationship. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So <laughs> it's those women: your mom, your grandmother. Yes, mm. the women in my life. Okay. Here yeah. it is, dear Mama Tupac. Another little kid, and even though we had different daddies, the same drama when things went wrong, we blame Mama. So now that you've decided you will no longer play, you made the choice not to play for the Uganda national team, you know, moving forward, mm. what, are, what are you going to do? You, um, you talked I about a bit of coaching, but yeah, you'll I've continue to play, yes? Yes, yes, I have, uh, I'll, be, I'll be playing at the club level. Okay. Not international. Yeah, some <coughs> international tournament, but not for Uganda. Okay. But just club level. Mm -hmm. Because I'm playing for club in Luxembourg. 
and I'm coaching. Mm-hmm. And they have this project where I, I try to bring I try to bring all the uh, sports material mm-hmm. to kids in Uganda. Oh, yes, okay. yes, yes. I give I give out sports material like rackets, shoes, uh, shuttles, and all those kind of things mm-hmm. because I want them to have a, a better future or a better uh, sports career, maybe better than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. And maybe in future, I'm trying. I'm planning. To, we're planning to have a sports school mm-hmm. in future. Okay. Yeah, but not now. Maybe in five years, five six years, years time. time yes. But that's in the plan. It's in the plan. It's yes. The I words. already put the plan down. Already have the land and everything. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Here. Yes. Here in Uganda, yes. All right, that's yes, nice. Yes, 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 yes. So, since I think sports has done so much for you in your life, you want mm. to give back. N- yes, I want to give back. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I see a wedding ring. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> do tell, do share. Uh, no, no, no. Actually, <coughs> I just left my my parents' house. Okay. I, I just left my parents' house. Mm-hmm. Uh, when this January, I was still living with my parents. January is last month. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I was still living with my parents at my age. So uh, my mom, she gave me this ring. My Dutch parents, she gave okay. me this ring. Okay. So it is not so a wedding. So that ring. means she wants me to get married. <laughs> 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 Ladies, mothers, <laughs> take notes. This is one way <laughs> to send a message. Yes, yeah, she gave me this <laughs> ring. Uh, actually, it was my uh, birthday present. Okay. She gave me it to me. I was like, huh? Mm-hmm. I was like, no, no, I didn't just keep it. So that means you should. You should. So how is it? I mean, okay, when did you move out? I'm trying to understand. I'm looking uh, at the timeline. In January. This January. Yes. Just before you came down to Uganda. Yes, so I, mo- I moved out. I, m- I moved. I moved out ninth. And you have your own place now. Yes, in Luxembourg. How how is that? It's, it's is it scary? Pr- it's a bit strange. <laughs> but quiet. It's, it's yeah. It's quiet. I have a very big apartment. Okay. <laughs> but it's a bit scary. I'm mm-hmm. living alone. I don't see my little brother. I don't see my little uh, my two little brothers. Mm-hmm. Sometimes my uh, nephew mm-hmm. is just two years old. Okay. So it's yeah, but it's okay. Are you dating? Is there a girlfriend? Mm, yes. Okay. All right. Serious? Uh, I'll say yes. Is she Ugandan? No. <laughs> no, but she's uh, she's well, f- she comes. She's from England. She's from England. Yeah, but okay. Jamaican England. Jamaican, Jamaican. Eng- English. Oh. She's oh. black, but okay. Jamaican. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been together? Uh, first we met in. Uh, London mm-hmm. for Olympics, mm. and then it was uh, up and down. Is she also in sports? Then no, 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 no. Okay. We met in the club. <laughs> I went out. I had I had my uh, Olympic uh, tag. I was showing off. <laughs> I was showing off with my Olympic tag, <laughs> and then she was like, "Oh, you play? You are an Olympian?" I said, "Yes." And yes, I am. Yes, yes. <laughs> and from there, we started uh, talking. Mm-hmm. We, she came to Holland, I went to England, like this, like this, yeah. Okay. But it was um, up and down. Up Not and down. Yeah, but now we're trying to... Mm-hmm. Yeah. But also because, like you said, I mean, if your your training schedule was five hours a day, I mean, yeah. that is also a lot of dedication. Yes, and her too, she was working with, you know, Vogue magazine? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. She's a designer. Okay. So she had no time. Mm. But now I think she had some time. Okay, now you're making time. Because that's what it comes down to yes, at the end yes, of the day. Yes. When you really want to be with someone, you make the time. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. so we shall be waiting for news. Yes. <laughs> big news soon. Yes, 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 ah, yes. He's not shying away from this. He's like, yes, yes. Now, yes. why should I shy away? Mm. It's not why. It's just a normal thing. Mm-hmm. It's a normal thing to have a girlfriend. It's a normal thing to do things. It's not all about shying away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Know. All right, so... um. What have you learned on your journey? Because I always want to learn, you know, from my guests, from mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. You know, some of the things about, you know, for example, the fact that you have kept pushing with your sport, mm-hmm. playing badminton, mm-hmm. even though you had your accident, mm-hmm. even though sometimes you didn't have the support you needed. I mean, what have you learned about life? But y- in life, you have to set goals. You have to set goals. Yeah, that's the first thing. Mm-hmm. When you set goals, you want to, you want to, s- okay, maybe here it's a bit difficult. In Uganda, even though you said goals, you have uh, ups, uh, arms, you cannot do it. But mm. when you live in Europe, when you said goals, you can get help. Okay. For me, I got help from my parents, my mm. Dutch parents. I got help from my club. 
and I got help from my sponsors, the uh, equipment company. Mm -hmm. So from that, you, when you said goals, that's really important. Really Even important. You can't just be... Yeah, just there. Even though you have uh, ups and downs, you're going to meet ups and downs everywhere you go in life. Mm -hmm. But you need to set goals and you say, okay, this is what I want. Since I went to, uh, since I went in Jam, since I went to in training center in Germany, mm -hmm. I had goals. I, I said, okay, I want to qualify for Olympics. Okay. Uh, first was one. Mm -hmm. That's 2008, that mm -hmm. Olympic in uh, Beijing. Yes. And then after that, I said, okay, what what next? So I went back to school mm -hmm. while, while I was studying, and then I got this car accident. So and then I, uh, with this car accident, I was already planning to qualif to try for. 2012 mm -hmm. Olympics. Yes. So it's all about goals. Okay. You don't uh, turn away from things you want to do. You just have to keep on going. Mm -hmm. Keep on fo keep on going, going. Keep through. the focus. Yes. Uh, sometimes you can lose the focus, but you have to still. The focus goes away, but you still have to come back. Okay. Yeah. All right. But we're human beings, eh? Sometimes mm -hmm. we lose focus, mm -hmm. but you still have to know this is what I want to do. Hmm. Yeah. So it also sounds like much as you know set goals and have focus. I mean you we all fail as human beings. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, that's it's okay, okay to too. fail. Yes, it's okay to fail. Mm -hmm. And don't feel don't feel shy when you fail. Mm. Yeah. I think especially at uh, in sports that's one of the things that's a lot easier to deal with because mo most people are terrified of failure. But have you in sport, it's not easy because the media eh, bash you off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the media. You clearly have felt it. Yes, 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 yes. But mm -hmm. they have their own opinion. Mm -hmm. You have your own opinion. And you it's have your goals. Yes, it's okay to say whatever you want to say. And you have to focus on what you think is good for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on Celeb Select. Thank you. Pleasure hosting you. Yes, it was nice to come here today. <laughs> <laughs> and today uh, wasn't in the morning. Oh, I have semi, I have quarterfinals, so anyway, anyway, I have to leave because I have to play quarterfinals match today. Yes. Now. Huh? In uh, thirty minutes. Okay, so we are done. That's <laughs> <before>. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, your last song is Seven Years" by Lucas Graham. Yeah. Why do you like this song? These songs, you have to. It takes you back mm -hmm. since you are young kid your parents send you out to do things mm -hmm. you go in out uh, try to do your thing mm -hmm. just enjoy try and then when turn 18 everything comes. it was a big big world but we thought we were bigger pushing each other to the limits we were learning quicker by 11 smoking herb and drinking burning liquor never reached so